How's it guys? Me and Gavin here. We're actually going to redo my most popular video now that I have a lot more stuff and equipment and a lot more time put into this bag. We're going to redo the whole thing and we're going to have a lot better audio quality. It's going to be a lot louder and you know it's going to be a lot just better in general. We got was... a gun! Yeah, we have a gun. <laughs> Gavin just took a pretty good shot <laughs> just literally like two minutes ago. But yeah, this is my whole system. So when I'm gonna go in a surprise situation, obviously Bear is coming with me, and I'm gonna be holding the gun and carrying this pack. The pack weighs about 45 pounds altogether, and that's not including water, because I don't have any water in it right now. But it does have a hydration bladder up to three liters, and that's easy for me to carry for a long distance. And, you know, let's just get right into it. <clears throat> so if you wanna come in closer, I'll show you what's on my EDC, first of all. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, so first EDC item is this K-Bar right here. I really like this knife. It was uh, $45 at the NEX. It's a very, very good blade. Me and Gavin both both enjoy it. It has a nice weight and grip to it too. Yeah, I really like the grip on this. It feels really comfortable. <clears throat> and next EDC item is actually my flashlight, my EDC flashlight. I like. The 511 little pen light thing that they have. This is from Rimpack 2016. Now I've had this thing for about a year. It's 90 lumens and the battery on this thing lasts over, I think, 40 hours or something like that. And it takes AAA. So that's really, really useful. On constant use. Yeah, and as you can see, it's taken a lot of beating. So I really enjoy this flashlight. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. I mean, in my wallet, you know. One of those cop sirens wallet. in the background so, for us. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they're probably in the background for us. But let's get into the bag right here. So first of all, first of all, obviously, is this beast right here. And we just put a new scope on this like a few days ago because the other scope that came with was not very good. So if you want to look into the scope right there. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's give a little camera into the scope. It can shoot in the dark. It has a, it has a lighted up scope. The scope is, uh, I think, like, what does it say? It says, uh... 3 to 9 by 40. <clears throat> and this is a Benjamin Benjamin Titan NP. It's the uh, nitro piston. The thing that's better about this one, whereas like compared to the spring pistons, is this one will not wear out. It shoots straighter, it shoots better. It's it's a little bit quieter because of the little suppressor up here. And it's just all in all just like a upgrade from a spring piston or, or spring, I guess. Ooh, ooh, you know what we should do? What's that? We should like total up the price to your bag as we're laying the items down. Okay, yeah. So that yeah. one's about what? This one was about 150 and then like the scope was $40. So let's say 190 and all. And the ammo, so the thing that's great, like absolutely amazing about air guns is 500 rounds right here. 10 bucks, 500 rounds. That is awesome. And it's a 22 caliber, so it's gonna hit pretty hard. These are the holler points, hollow points. So it's gonna shoot a lot harder than. And Kale, get off the mat. Yeah, Kale, get what? off the mat. What the heck? Get Kale, off the mat. go sit somewhere else. You're gonna ruin the video. Nobody wants to see a faggot in the video. Kale, I'm serious. Get off the mat now. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> All right, this isn't really with the bag. We were filming today, and uh, we just brought some water with us. Yeah, filming. <clears throat> so let's start with Bear's pack right here. So Bear, we're, we're making him an ESA dog. Obviously you don't need any papers for that. You don't need pretty much anything. You just say he's an ESA dog. But uh, this is his little backpack right here. So for Bear, inside his first pouch over here, I have this really nice leash for him. It has a handle up here and a handle over here. He walks right next to me the whole time. He doesn't stray away or try to go after anybody or sniff anything without me being okay with it. Without well, my yeah. say so, boy. <laughs> and I have some treats for him. I'll usually keep this right here on my side, just so he, he will listen to me better. Oh, that looks pretty deadly. Yeah. You have a prong collar. Uh, I really like these, but I only recommend them if you know how to use them right. Uh, me and my girlfriend had a big argument over it because she didn't think I could use one, but I can. And these are great if you know how to use them. So here, let's get this back in here how do you use them then huh you gonna explain that uh they can look it up if you guys really want one it has to be right behind the ears it can't be low on the neck 
It has to be right behind the ears. Can't be choking them the whole time. And it's not a forever collar. It shouldn't be on them all the time. Yeah, so don't be, don't be animal abusers, you retards. I have his little gator toy. He really enjoys that. Yeah, you can put like some snacks in it and he can suck its face for it. <laughs> and then right here is a medical pouch. I keep this in Bear's bag because Bear can move a lot faster than I can. And just, like, go get him, Skipper. Yeah, and just in general, uh, the thing that's great about having it on Bear is it's way more accessible than having it deep inside my bag. Or Like, I didn't want to put it on the outside just in case something happens. But with Bear, it's always going to be there. He's going to move a lot faster. First thing I got in here is Tinder. I got a 12-hour candle, gloves. I got gauze, I got these shears right here, these are great. I have some zip ties, military zip ties, some duct tape, tweezers, I even have a signal mirror, some bandages, gauze, aspirin, uh, what else do I got in here, burn gel, pretty much everything, even quick cloth. So I got everything you could possibly need in, in a medical situation that a normal person can do. Like me i'm not obviously medically trained or anything i know cpr cpr and first aid boy yeah, cpr and first aid certified but that's about as far as my uh training training yeah it goes <clears throat> so starting off with the outside of the bag this tent right here i mean me and gavin can both vouch for this tent we both have slept in this tent it, it's a one-man tent but it could easily fit two small people yeah two i mean normal sized yeah normal sized people i'm five nine gavin's probably or yeah, five nine guys are almost like what? I'm almost five eleven now. Yeah, five eleven now. So he has no problem sleeping feet to head. I think it's like can hold up to somebody like six foot, maybe six foot two, probably. But um, well, that's at least comfortable. Yeah, it's really comfortable. It has very good ventilation. I love the rain fly out. We've never gotten wet. Water doesn't seep in, and it's just great in general. I really love this tent. It is a hundred and. $20 if you get the floor mat with it like the floor saver and I highly recommend that just because it will expand the life of the tent tremendously probably by I'd say a, a good two years and I'd say this tent will last about maybe eight ten years if we treat it nicely if we're not just throwing it around and stuff but that's the Lynx one Alps Mountaineering uh, backpacking tent that's about 14 ounces in all combined with the uh, floor saver I'd say like 16 ounces in all but like I said, 120. This was like, I guess bear setup. You could say it was like 50 bucks and all. 50 bucks and all flat. That's how much bear stuff costed. No worry, I'll edit in a lot of the tallying. Okay. And this is like over time buying. You don't want to just buy this all in one big burst. Yeah, if you buy every. So that's the thing about these bug up bags. People really want to wait, and it's never really done for anybody because they buy over time, like for years, pretty much. And you never find a perfect time where your bag's always set up completely. And. The bags are always for your zone, for your needs, for what you think you'll need. And you know best for yourself, so. <sighs> I have this little mesh bag right here that I put my Hydro Flask in. I really love the Hydro Flask. It holds uh, cold water for a while. Here, Kelly wants cold water. <clears throat> and I have it on here with this uh, little beaner right here. Let's see if it's cold. Beaner. <laughs> I know it's cold, I put ice in it. Ooh. But uh, that's that right Tastes there. Like that was probably like 20 bucks and all. It's weird. The Hydro Flask is probably the most expensive part of that. <laughs> yeah. Going into the first pouch, I have a headlight for quick access. I love the iNova headlights. One, they're water, they say water resistant up to three meters if you drop it into water. But I see that as just rainproof pretty much. Wouldn't you say so, Gavin? Yeah. And the thing that's great about these, look, you don't even have to touch it. You just put your hand over it. Just put your finger over it. It's really great to use with gloves, with anything. And you could really uh, dial down the brightness a lot down to think like two or three lumens it's it's great oh yeah that's pretty good okay yeah, and then all i all i have in here is a you have a little uh this thing yeah for your generator that you did not bring did you well i have a solar panel i can have this too oh okay <clears throat> so the light the i know for headlight is about 20 bucks too i got a charger obviously for <clears throat> reasons that we all know internet porn <laughs> uh for those of you who don't know, a lock right here, this is a practice lock, but I also have a lock picking set. In Hawaii, especially in the city, there's gonna be a lot of locked places. And I mean- <laughs> Just in case you need to break in any place yeah. in your survival bug out and nugget. Well, if you're trying to be quieter, I mean, if you are in the city and say there's like a zombie apocalypse, you don't wanna break a window. I would break a window. It'd just be fun breaking glass. <laughs> just a lock pick, and this doesn't have a lot of weight. This lock isn't full metal, so it's really light. 
this was about 12 bucks so for 12 bucks i was like dang i mean that and that's not a necessity that's just something that you can that's personal yeah. preference yeah that's personal preference but you know it could be useful could, could need it you could use it as an actual lock yeah exactly you could use an actual lock to lock up something and watch somebody try to pick it and actually do it and you're like crap shouldn't have given the practice lock yep i have a wall charger you could run into any type of <laughs> whether it be a gas generator i have a solar generator there we go. A little charging port. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, a super, super tiny headlight. This is actually supposed to be in Bear's backpack. Crap. I have a micro USB. Crap. And then I have this uh, USB for my spotlight that I'll show you guys here in the bag. I also have some big red gum. This is great Ooh. for boosting morale. Ooh, it will give you energy. Ooh. I got a sharpener right here. This can sharpen hooks, sharpen knives. It's my favorite sharpener. Over here on this side. This is my pretty much navigation stuff. I have some cards here that help you make a map. This tool right here is great. Uh, in the last the bug it? out bag video, people were saying that I don't need a compass because obviously it's Oahu, and I understand that completely. But, but this is like a bug out bag. It doesn't matter what area you're in. Yeah. It's just and a Then again, we're moving in a month. We're moving to Ohio. So the compass will definitely be useful there. This one is awesome because it has a thermostat, hydrometer. The compass is always on point. Signal mirror has a level. It has flint and steel and a whistle. I, yeah, I love this thing. It's great. This thing was like 10 bucks by itself. But there's that right there. Would you say it's beautiful? Yep. And then I have another sharpener in there too. Just a little Lansky that I've had for like years. Yeah, but if you are if, if you don't think your navigation mini nugget compass slash thing isn't working, you could probably just go on your phone and use some Google Maps. Yeah, it's if you're accessible to the internet. But I also keep a second compass just so we can put them side by side. And if one's off, then obviously you know something's wrong. Oh crap, there are mosquitoes. I don't want to be bit. No, uh, give me something. Uh, I don't have I'm being bit. Oh, crap. Bug spray in here. You're right. Crap, give us the bug spray. Yeah. Hey, wait, I'll get to it in the bag. Oh my god, this one took a while. No, it's not. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a Sam Piper of California. Buggo bag is what they call it. And I really love this bag. I've had it for about a year now. This is a about 100 feet of paracord. Yep, I yes. have the mini big lighter. I just left it at home because it was Donovan's birthday a few days ago. I had to use lighter spool. Yeah, this, this little spool is great. It's really useful. It definitely spool. saves a lot of space. And it's light too. It doesn't take up that much weight. I got a mini chair, which is great. Here, you guys want to sit on this chair for a second? Yes. Except this is a bug out bag. This isn't for hiking. This is for surviving. Yeah. So uh, weight in the end doesn't really matter. Yeah, true. I mean, you're probably going to be traveling in a car anyway. Give me an all awesome. situation. Ah, here we go. I love this chair. I've had this chair for, I think, two years now, but it's hey, absolutely great. You should sit on it while doing this. Yeah, hey, you think so? No, what the heck? Uh, too late, Kelly. I'm already sitting on it. Yeah, I suggested it. This thing can hold up to, like, 200 pounds. So that's, like, me and him combined. <laughs> oh, here it is. So here's the Nomad Solar 20. So this is a 20-watt solar panel. Absolutely Whoa, great. I mean, this is a pretty expensive solar panel. It cost me $130 at the NEX, but... The thing that's great about this is I can put it right here on the backpack and I could walk just like that and it'll be soaking up power all day. I could charge my lights, I could charge my uh, lantern. Mm. And also in here I have a knife, just a little camp. <laughs> put that right there. Okay, so this is the UCO candle lantern. I have a 12 hour candle in there right now. The thing that's great about these is if you're in a cold climate, say it's like 30 degrees, this will stop humidity and mist from hitting the top of your tent. You'll have no no type of sprinkling dripping down on you just from your breath all night. Um, it will heat up the tent. Me and Gavin have tested this. We put it inside our Lynx uh, Alps Mountaineering 1, and it definitely heats up the tent. I'd say not that much, but like 10 degrees, but you could definitely feel it, and it's definitely useful. 10 degrees is quite a bit, actually. Yeah, and if, uh, if it's 30 degrees out and you have an extra 10 degrees plus your sleeping bag and whatnot, that's going to be pretty useful. Okay, so. let me tell you something about that. I tried that like once all night. The only problem I got with it is that if you have the tent completely closed up like I did, um, just to sustain all the heat, the heat would build up in there a lot. So you, it could get pretty hot in there, more yeah. than 10 degrees. Yeah. But the only problem is that there's like a little bit of smoke or mist, of course, from the candle. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I mean, the candle isn't completely smoke free. Obviously, some, some smoke comes off of it. Yeah, and you don't want to be breathing in candle smoke all night. Yeah. I have this uh, Special Forces Survival Guide. This is really useful. I mean, if you're actually in a survival situation, this could help you out a lot. <laughs> you know what you know what you don't know. <laughs> in the bottom here, this is all my fire, fire starting stuff. So first off, I have two extra beeswax. These are 14-hour candles. 
So that's like another two nights or four nights actually. I mean, the night's probably gonna be like seven nights, seven hours long. And then I got a lot of these kerosene blocks. So prepared mine 101. Get a great review on these. These things are awesome. I mean, if you need a fire, these things will do it no problem. No matter what condition you're in, these things burn bright. They catch a spark like that. They're just great. And I have a lot of them in here. These are actually on clearance for like two bucks. I got like 36, 36 of them, but I've used them. Bear grills, uh, flint and steel. Love that one. Yeah, sure. Oh man, this, this is the a, fire starting my, kit. Yeah, this is my emergency fire starting kit. So I got. The UST strike force in there, I think is what it's called. Bunch of wet fires, the little uh, fire sticks. If you need a fire going, you're gonna be able to get it started, no problem. And it's completely water, watertight, waterproof. Got some uh, electrical tape on there that has its own uses. And then just more of these uh, things inside here, pretty much. <laughs> more kerosene. Yeah, so I mean, my fire starting kit was probably like $25 altogether and the UCO candle lantern. I'm not sure how much that was. I think it was like 17 bucks. On, and honestly, fire is probably one of the things that you need most during yeah, especially a... Especially if it's cold. Yeah. Definitely if it's cold. So. And it can keep away certain animals. Yep, yep, it can. So here, we're getting into the main part of the pack here. Let's just flip it down. Ah. So, Kale, I'm just going to start handing you stuff and you're just going to line it up on this little mat that we have here. So first thing here is the, the thing that's great about this is it also has an axe blade and a saw blade on it. I love this thing. And it has flint and steel and it has a bunch of other And a knife and a compass that was supposed to go at the top and fell off. Yeah. It has a crowbar, a knife, a glass breaker. I mean, think about it. Why would you need a glass breaker if you could just smack the window with the shovel? <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, just, just because. Well, actually car windows are probably a lot easier to break with the glass breaker but I got some really nice mechanics gloves this right here I love this blanket it's really really comfortable and it keeps everything from jiggling around the backpack Tr like tremendously it's useful yeah, how much would that weigh time. that probably weighs like let's say like same mm -hmm. amount as a tent probably like 16 ounces actually probably a little less I'd say like 10 ounces probably 10 ounces yeah. All right, so I, I definitely upgraded my light here. Here's the Goal Zero Spotlight. And I, yeah, I stand by this thing a lot. It's 400 lumens and rechargeable. Honestly, I don't have to worry about batteries. You can actually put stuff in the back here. Yeah, for like waterproofing that crap. Yeah, and you could it, it goes really far. Like I think it's range. How much? How far do you think this goes? Probably like 200. Meters. I don't know, but I can vouch for that thing. That thing's awesome. Yeah, me and all my friends love this thing, and Gavin has used it a lot too. All right. <clears throat> Okay, goal. why are you on the mat again? He's handing me stuff. This is the Goal Zero Lighthouse. This is also 400 lumens. This thing is bright, so you can turn on one Jesus. side. <laughs> so it looks like you're holding power in your hands. You, you can turn on one side, you can turn on the other. The thing that's great about this is it has a crank. So if you ever need to masturbate. Yep. And then it lights up up here too on top. So if you could just want to keep that on. So you can see where the camp's at. It has. Uh, it's also rechargeable. Don't like using batteries, so I love how... Everything here is rechargeable by Gold Zero. Has stands, and you could charge your items from it. So I could charge my phone directly from this. Could you charge the thing with itself? <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> power. Unlimited power. Okay. So this is a big one. Uh, this is a really big issue in Hawaii. There's over a million people on this island. Food. If there's any kind of type of economic collapse or zombie apocalypse everybody's trying to get food and the food isn't going to last long for like a million people so i do keep a decent amount of food i probably have like twenty thousand calories in here that's a lot and of calories yeah that's a lot of calories but you know i only eat 20 a day but okay that's not going to last forever on this island you see um, this wrist i mean i try to stock up on as much as i can but here open it up a that's what makes me such a good survivalist though i can go longer with less <laughs> i barely eat i barely sleep i got a lot of mre food a dab so on the haters. ready to eat immediately tuna I got, oh yeah, I got my cable. Low cable battery. Spork in here too. Well, that's a nice spork. Yeah, you want to Doesn't it come out phone? with a knife too? Yeah, it does. But show them the knife. Okay, one second. Here, let's charge my phone so the. the you son of. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Here you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So yeah, it does come out with a knife. You could use both of them at the same time. Go ahead, cut me. No, it's, it's a plastic knife, but it is really sharp. 
Yeah, it's serrated. That makes up for it being plastic. Right, I really like this thing. It's really durable. So now I'm going to kneel down because I got the lantern. Unless I can hook it onto me somehow. Yeah, let me, let me sit down too. It's yeah. going to be really hard now. Here's all the food. Yeah, you, I mean, you can pick your own food. That doesn't really need to be showed. Oh, yeah. What kind of food is in here? Okay. Insect repellent. This okay. stuff is epic. Um, Look at this. This is like the legit one. Read this crap. Pause the video, you dumb idiot. <laughs> It'll, it, it'll, it's effective through six washes. So here, you guys want to put this on your clothes real quick so you stop getting beaten up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, crap, I got the video all wet. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fall off my chair. I can just edit all this garbage out. So just tell me when you're ready. Oh, we're still ready, go. Okay. Keep rolling, bitch. So next item in the backpack here is a miniature survival kit. If I had to take one thing out of this backpack, it'd be this. This thing has everything pretty much like this, but miniaturized. Has a survival guide, completely waterproof, uh, fire starters, compass, magnifying glass, knives, space blankets, fire starters. I don't know if I said that already. Well, medical stuff, pliers, rope, um, a laser pointer that has a flashlight on it, zip ties, poncho. It has everything pretty much. So There's everything you'll need to survive. Basically, this is like 10 survivals in one. Yeah, it's pretty much like this, but miniaturized. It has everything. And then here we have two extra gas canisters these things last a while this one's about to run out but this one's pretty much full i shot a bird earlier with his gun <laughs> that i'm like a sniping pro it's such a tiny bird too all right my primary blade or this is my secondary blade actually i mean i guess they're about even but i have two of them just in case this is the k bar the usmc my dad gave this to me yeah his dad gave it to him then he tried to throw his dad in jail <laughs> not that funny Okay, there's that. Here's the Smitty belt. This is my second blade in here. Yeah, you see, it got a little seatbelt cutter. It got a nice serrated part. It got a nice grip to it. It's a very heavy blade. Yeah. Just in case you need like any bit of chopping action. Definitely. It's nice and fixed for you. Yeah. You got that full tangage action. Yep, all that. It's a little pocket on the front of it, just in case you want. Hey, where does that thing Kelter on here? Oh yeah, sure. You can put this in there. Boom. Uh, here's my survivor filter. This thing filters up to 100,000 liters. And I love this one because you don't have to bend over into the water. So this thing floats. It's not going to sink down in. And this is what it's a pump filter. So you can pump it straight and see. I have a jet boil. So I can pump it straight in that. I can pump it straight into my hatch flask. And honestly, we tried it. We were at like one of these streams. Uh, Hawaii streams are known to have lots of bacteria in them. We drank it straight from the stream after pumping it with that, and it tastes better than bottled water. It tastes, yeah. tasted beautiful. It actually has some minerals inside of it to add taste to the water. It was, and the it next day you got sick and died. We're still alive, aren't we? But you guys got sick. No, we drank like probably like two cups each of water. A yeah, those are, that was some beautiful tasting water though. Yeah. Remember when we drank the- So I have some really, really heavy duty orange, like high vis steaks, because the steaks that come with the Lynx tent are, not that durable. Those things add a lot of weight, though. Yeah, they do add a lot of weight, but I think they're worth it. Because if I need to tie down a tent, if it's super, super windy, which in Hawaii happens often, this is really useful. And I, I really, I, I can carry these. Yeah, if you were in Kansas and you needed to make a little tent right in the field, Tornado wouldn't scoop you up. <laughs> this thing, oh man, this thing. We, Dude, we've only had it for like, what, probably like eight months. But this thing has been through hell and back already. Hey, wait. It's the K-Bar Kukuri. Ooh, let me try it. Here, here, you can take the recording. That's something like this. Let's give a nice, good shot. Oh, wait. I can't really hit it as hard. I don't want to hit the fence. See, this is some light taps, and it's able to carve through one of these pretty well. Hey, you don't want to put on the tree. It's a pretty big tree. <laughs> See? Gavin's, that's like light taps. It's letting the blade do all the work. Yeah. He's not exerting any any energy right there. Yeah, and I, I also don't want to chop the little lanyard. And that's probably like two inches, maybe one and a half inches in diameter. So it's not that thick of a tree, but it's definitely... Yeah, but, I mean, come on. These are some light taps. Could you imagine having to chop down a big tree and actually, as hard as you can, doing some good hits with it, not worried about hitting something in the background? Yeah. I mean, if you need wood, buy we'll see the... see it's stabbing action. Buy the... Whatever this is called. All right. <laughs> hey, let's get back to the video. Come on. Here, take this. Why have you been recording? 
Um, 25 minutes. Don't worry, we'll edit it down. Here is my saw. Oh, fuck yeah, I love that thing. I love this thing, yeah. This thing's, it cuts through all, everything. This yes. It has no problem just sawing through everything. It's a, it's a pull saw, so you're going to get all of your action on the pull stroke. This thing's very grippy, Ooh, very I sharp, very sharp. Unless you're me, you get every last bit of your push and pull <laughs> from your sawing. I chop Well, the teeth are pointed in the, the pull direction, so you're going to get more out of the pull. Well, I've sawed down so much garbage with that thing. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's great. I'm glad I brought it. I've sawed down like a big-ass tree. I made firewood out of it. Yeah, it was only 15 bucks. I oh, you want to give him some action with it? Yeah, sure. I've been practicing with this thing, so I know how to use it. Same tree. Yeah, might as well. Or should we do like a thicker one? Yeah, do a thicker one. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. It's going to cut down the tree. Stop. See, it's Holy about that, cow. that fast. And it got to that far. Yeah. And you... it takes very minimal en energy. Unless I just have a lot of energy. Stop! Jesus, I'm running Gavin away. has the whole tree cut down already. That's how awesome that, that saw is right there. Let's see how it does in Deadwood. Like straight through, no problems at all. Yeah, and I've used this thing a lot. I'm surprised it hasn't like doled out. It's still very sharp. The, the uh, teeth on this thing are uh, uh, heat hardened. You don't need that anymore. So Gavin, you don't need that. You don't need to talk anymore. Shut up, Cal. Okay, here, this is the jet boil. Mm, jet this is the mini mode jet boil. Uh, it's great if you have two people in your group, which I usually do. You could also use it as a flamethrower. <laughs> no, you can't. I did. But it's $120 altogether. Oh, yes, it comes with like everything you need. It can heat up water. I think it heats up like, gosh, I honestly forget. The mini mode is a lot bigger than the standard jet boil. It's like a pot almost. But I, I love this thing. It makes everything so much quicker. So much quicker. Here, here we go. He's a jet bullet camp. So, we have a hammock here. Super light. I honestly really like the hammock. Me and I both tried it out. Honestly, I really like from from We got it from Dave and Buster's. Yeah. And it, the price of how many tickets is what it cost. Yeah. What is, how much did it cost? 2800 Yeah, 2800 tickets. Which, I mean, I actually like that thing. The only problem I have with it... Is that the middle part is a shorter than the rest of like the sides so you may have like a stiff middle and uh some lumpy sides but i mean that also makes good for like your freak cradling yeah i really like it i mean plus the bag is combined with the hammock so you can put stuff in the bag yeah it's the super easy to pack away and all that garbage it's super light super durable too i mean we haven't heard any tearing my dad saw sat in it. he's like 230 pounds or something like that probably. you're saying he's fat it's a lot of muscles now <laughs> But yeah, if me and Gavin don't want to sleep together, if it's really nice mm. weather outside, then we'll like decide who wants the hammock with the blanket right there. A lot of fishing trips. That is used like every single fishing trip, and it's amazing. Yeah. And here we have the jungle sleeping bag from. Uh, Got blood on this? my finger. Snug pack. That's the brand. I really like this thing. Super light. Keeps the bug out. Keeps the bugs out. Sorry. And it has a uh, antibacterial on it. Uh, it's rated down to 30 degrees. I wouldn't sleep in it with 30 degrees without another sleeping bag or like a lot of extra layers, but it's really comfortable. Feels really good inside. Has a bug net. You don't get super sweaty inside, and it packs down really small. So like, how much did that cost? This was about 60 bucks. Or you could go to good old North Face and buy a $200 sleeping bag. But that's that like feels down like heaven. Minus 30. <laughs> minus that, 30. It feels minutes. like heaven though. Have you ever like just crawled into their sleeping bags? Oh, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, it's we're like gonna get once to get orgasmic. to Orgasmic. But yeah, face. we are going to Ohio, so we're going. We're right now. This is the Hawaii setup, pretty much, but it's also transitioning to Ohio, and I'm getting a lot of help from my cousin on what gear I should get, and we're gonna be purchasing a lot newer items for the colder weather, and we're gonna get there right in right in December, so it's gonna be pretty cold, and we're gonna try to do some cold weather camping. Yeah, yeah. and there's also bigger stronger deadlier animals there yeah we gotta watch out for deadlier snakes deadlier Bears. there are really no snakes in here unless you want to count those blind snakes as snakes i'd rather count them as worms yeah Bear worm. but it's definitely going to be great we're gonna have a lot of fun and th i mean that's pretty much my bug out bag survival bag as of now I i've tested out everything here i've tested out every single thing here me and gavin can all vouch for it it is not cheap to have this as a hobby it's pretty expensive I mean, I have a job, but still, this costs a lot of money right here to start doing. A thousand, maybe. Don't worry, we'll tally it all up. Yeah, we'll tally it all up and put it in the end. 
But uh, thank you guys for watching my last bug out bag video. Please share this one so I can get a little bit more views. We're hoping for like another 4,000 views. That'd be great. But we'll get know, more. If you have any advice for Ohio, since I'm going there, please give me some. This is what works best for us in Hawaii. Uh, as you can see, I lost my sleeping pad. I'm going to get the Nemo sleeping air mattress. It means like from the movie my, Finding Nemo. Yeah, no, it's, I'm going to get the insulated one for Ohio. Uh, I lost mine because Lana threw it in the water. Yeah, you also lost your cot tent. I lost my cot tent, uh, the sleeping pad, and the climate pillow. So, pretty bummed out about that. She that climate threw it pillow in the was water? Awesome. Yeah. Basically, I told her to sit down inside of it so I could put stuff inside the cot tent so it wouldn't blow over. And then there was a lot of wind. As, yeah, as soon as I like walked away to put some more stuff inside of it, it blew over and off the pier. Cause she got up. Like as soon as I got up, and then she kept kept saying sorry and stuff. Uh, this fell into the water. I was able to save it with my wallet and whatnot. But we should probably go back there and see if we can hook it. No, it's definitely gone. I mean, it's probably all degraded by now. So where? I mean, it'd just be fun to discover some cool stuff. But. We're gonna be doing a fishing video pretty pretty soon here. Uh, we're gonna finish up the rest of the disappearance episode two today. And we're gonna to head home. But thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate all the support. Please go subscribe to the potatoes. I have is a related or what's it called? And it's like a recommended channel and on my uh, page. If you guys want to go see that, uh, like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. We can get five likes on this video. Great. If we could get a hundred likes on this video, smash that like button. <laughs> no, you got hundred likes. You gotta like start taking off your shirt and go smash the like button. Smash hit right that now. subscribe. Oh, yeah, no, comment no. that uh, you're a faggot and, and uh, go go find your best friend and tell him you love him. Make out with him and send me a video of it. I want to masturbate. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. But thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye.